Hey guys, welcome to Tech Scenes Edit. My name is Prashant and on today's video, we're going to be overhauling our home network for 2020. So we started off by running the electrical cabling and then before we ran the power directly to where we're going to have our network, we set up a little UPS to manage the network if uh, in case there's a power outage or load shedding. So we set that up underneath our desk and then from the UPS the power goes to the point where our network is going to be set up where we set up a plug point which is taking power from the UPS. After that we installed our shelf for the network and now we get onto the fun stuff which is the networking. So our network here is relatively the same we still have our two routers, one bringing the DSL in and one connecting it to our D-Link DIR825 router or router. Right, that and we have our 48 port switch which will be connecting up all our cable devices, right? So let's set this up. Most of the changes, most of the things haven't really changed. We're going to input a new uh, access point and I'll show you that just now but let's start this out first then I'll take you around the house and show you our multiple access points right so let's set this up on, on the rack uh, let's, I'm gonna put our switch down first <laughs> Hey guys, so unfortunately the audio clip for this video clip was damaged, so it's a voiceover. Here I am saying we set up the network, now we've run our ethernet cables to wherever they need to go. And there's one going to my parents room, which is connected to the TV where they would like watching Plex. If you don't know what Plex is, we've set up Plex on my personal server and that video can be linked up can be found linked up there in the YouTube cards. One cable to my parents room, one to my sister's room, one going to my room, one cable going to the server. We've set up the server if you haven't seen it. There's a whole playlist on how to set up the server and everything that's on the server. We've set up Plex, we've set up our own private cloud. All those videos can be found linked in the YouTube cards as well as at the end of the video cable to the server one cable running to the desk here we're going to run another cable later because we're going to set up another PC in this room and the last cable is going downstairs so let's head on downstairs and find out where that cable is going first access point is a TP-Link um, TR WR 841N router but it has an access point feature which is activated here and then the cable I told you coming from the switch there's that red cable here and then we just plug it in and it will figure out where the internet's coming from and it distributes it the next cable is to the TV here and the second cable is the one there's a second cable there which plugs to the PlayStation right so this is our first access point. Let's go check out my room and then 
we'll carry on. So in my room we have the wireless range extender and um, there's a cable, this cable is running to the studio. So at the moment we don't have a long enough cable to run from the switch to the studio. So we're just making do sort of at the moment. So we have the wireless range extender here in my room and then it has an ethernet port so I'm going to connect it in here because this is actually the point with the strongest um, strongest ethernet, um, internet connection where we can put something like this. So this is just set up here and it also amplifies the Wi-Fi signal in my room. So I kind of get a stronger signal for whatever I'm doing. Although the PC is wired, I also do a lot of work from my phone over the wireless. All right, so let's go down, uh, let's go follow this cable and finish this revamp in the studio. So if you follow the cable coming from my room, it comes to the uh, to this router here, which I repurposed to act as an access point. And if you don't know what I'm thinking, uh, what I'm talking about, I have a whole video explaining how you convert an old router or modem into an access point. And that video can be found linked up there. So basically, it brings the internet connection from my room here, and then it connects to this um, smart box which displays in the TV and there's a cable that connects to my laptop as well here. So the reason that we need it here is because when we're working in the studio, we work paperlessly, so all our scripts and all are paperless, so we load it, so we need a strong internet connection. And that basically is the end of our video and we finished off here in the studio. Um, don't worry about what's written on the board. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed this video guys. There are many videos on networking that I've done, there are many server videos, all those videos can be linked in the playlist that's going to be seen. So guys, thank you very much for watching. My name is Prashant and I'll see you in the next video.